So people have said they wanted a mukbang and I've never done a QA and a and people actually had questions when I asked. I have Chipotle. I'm hungry. Let's get into it. If we've never met before, I mean, nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Give me a like, subscribe. Let's just get into it. So today I have some Chipotle, mostly because for a mukbang, like, what do people eat? Like, they eat, like, big old chunks of sashimi or, like, lobster or, like, whole pigs. And I don't really eat like that, you know? Just an everyday girl. So here I have a steak bowl. I normally just get veggies, but their steak is pretty good. Black bean, corn, and brown rice. Love that. Okay, thumbnail. I got wok on the side. Sorry about it. I don't know, they gave me different salsa. I normally get like the red one. This one smells good though. No, I'm not mad. I guess when people do mukbangs, they have like a table, huh? Um, there's not a nice way to do this. I just mix it up. And normally chips, I like scoop it up. And it's really good. But we're carb free for the evening. I mean, except for the beans and the rice, but carbs are good. It's good to eat. It's cold. <laughs> so I asked on Twitter some questions. Follow me on there or don't. Like, don't. First question. Favorite song? I love Play With It by Tommy Genesis. It's been like V song. Rico Nasty Anything. Sandy I love. I don't know how people do this. This is really weird. Also, another favorite song like of my life. My All by Mariah Carey. Yeah. Makeup product you couldn't live without. The Fenty banana powder. Just super blurring and beautiful and like looks like a filter. Um, I'm not trying to play with my food but I need chips. Like, no. Life is hard. Actually, what I really, really, really like couldn't live without because I ran out was the Tarte Shape Tape. It looks like really good. And it's just easy. I like a lot of coverage. I don't want to work for it every day. I don't have the energy. Girlies who do mukbangs, like they talk with their mouth full. Like, what is that? It feels so wrong. Been loving like foundation powder in general, just for an extra bit of flawlessness. Like, cause we need that lip balms. Like, wait, ugh. I got the Mario Badescu one just cause at Ulta I didn't want to bother any associates. Not like they look like they want to be bothered. But I found a Mario Badescu one. It wears well. It stays on your lips. So I like that one. I lost my Fenty one. I have two bite masks that I always lose and find. So those are cute. Like I just love something hydrating for my lips, period. I love hand sanitizer. I love floss. Let me not say that. Love, love the CeraVe Renewing Night Cream. Just because I like hydration at all times. And it's bomb. And I've had some irritation as of late pop up again. And it really helps stuff go down. Um, so I like that. I like the CeraVe, the blue one with the pump. I've been using that for my face. It's thick. And I like a cream that coats my skin, protects my skin. I couldn't live without blush. Love that Maybelline Weird. Voyager Pioneer lipstick. I don't know. Let me know if you want a favorite. Um, I can go on. I just like love makeup. Who knew? Someone said, would you do cooking videos, girlies? I hate to break it to you. I can't cook. I used to bake when I was like younger, like from the box. Pretty advanced. Pros and cons of shaved brows. Hmm. Lots of cons. I have a complicated relationship to my brows. I feel like my idea of beauty for a long time was like as severe as I could all the time. But as of late, sometimes it's nice to just have like the natural look to fall back on. Because if I'm going on my Walmart run, it's annoying to have to draw on like all your brow all the time. And it looks kind of funny. Sometimes you like wipe it away. So I did grow back more of my brow so like i only have this much missing for my brow but yeah it's just a lifestyle choice cons it tests your patience sometimes you look very alien like it's a look but it's nice for drag or you want to do like crazy makeup a lot or the way space to play favorite euphoria character other than rue i'm still disturbed like by the finale can we talk about it like i'm worried okay obviously zendaya did so good with rue so heartbreaking but i also really like was touched by the scenes with rue's family they did so 
fun and also like Kat is such a fun like perfect character uh, even though she was like experiencing like transformation and she wanted to be in control she was still like very like, goofy and like human and Barbie did so good oh my god I've been following her forever and it's like such a perfect moment for her she did so good oh my god 824 please put me on euphoria um i could be maybe maddie's mom divorces her husband who just sits in his little lazy boy furniture chair and i'm the stepdaughter um hmm an idea we can negotiate i don't know <coughs> i can't wait till season two um hashtag hbo partners can they contact me but yeah love for his family love cat the room oh my god this is so good like i really like the corn if y'all were wondering what's your preferred type of makeup someone asks i don't know like if it suits you if it exudes something and like is there i don't know just whatever it is like there has to be like a presence with it i hate I'm sorry. Very Instagram makeup. We love like the beat. Like we love a good amount of makeup. But I don't know. The look of Instagram makeup just it gets worse. I'm sorry. It's just I hate it. I hate it. Um and then they asked where do I get my makeup inspiration? Lots of different stuff, honestly. For me, like I really love playing with different type of ways you can tweak beauty makeup and how transformational or different can it get in the realm of beauty you can always play with contrast and angles like skillfully done like really clean synced up like glam that's that's something not everyone can do that i think like the way people how they interpret beauty into their own life like how they wear makeup it's like really cool I think about like how I used to wear makeup when I was younger things that really draw back to something that it makes you feel a certain way I used to love like I guess I don't look a whole lot different but I love like intense lips my skinny dark brows I love liner the energy like it can give you and I like seeing like people how they like express whatever that is for them with makeup and beauty like that's really cool like I really enjoy that someone said which was the nicest thing to me like Alyssa Edwards I never really know what to think of people before meeting them obviously like you see on tv kind of person she is but you don't know like how that'll translate into the environment of like a convention or a meet and greet and i met her at the anastasia booth at dragcon i was lucky to like squeeze into the the press line she was so nice she like loved my makeup she was like oh she loved it i was like oh my gosh she was just so nice and so present i think you can tell from someone's energy just like that's how i am i guess i can so like sniff out you know if you have your ego or attitude and it's just ugly i repel it but she really was so nice and also her palette it's the perfect palette i respect her even more also miss fame so kind always so good to me like fame is really like an angel she walks the walk is very present and like is very supportive of me surprising thing for me i've learned like so much from watching her artistry blossom she's amazing and another one that makes me like mm, violet 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 like did you know i met violet she was so nice to me uh like that was like all the validation i needed for like a lifetime so she said like some very flattering things to me love her also naomi i feel like i said this before but at the convention center she was just like walking and i was like hi i don't really like have the personality to like bug people but naomi is so so nice like ran up to me was complimenting me she went out of her way like we love her 
feel like my teachers like they eat their lunch in class like that's how i feel right now. like if you've ever had to endure the classroom that is like 75 degrees with like your teachers being cuisine scent freaking skincare must-haves like i said CeraVe, their creams, bomb. Less is more with skincare, but I always need like a good cream. And also Tarte, their tingling knockout treatment is like it. It's all you need if you ever have issues with acne or like spots anywhere with like dark marks or you feel like your skin is dull. It's bomb. It's supposed to be really comparable to the P15 1970 exfoliating toner, but I've never used it. I'm just saying for reference if you're into skincare. It's one of those things like you put it on a pad, like you can kind of leave it over the mark and kind of dab it in like, like this. That's what I do, but it really takes care of spots easy so toner is good for all over or even if just like little flare up easy to treat and it is the most reliable for me someone said favorite euphoria moment i think the carnival episode was like really good the pacing of it like it's just so invigorating so fun so exciting everything builds everything's like happening and it's like a different experience watching it like a second or third time like fourth time like i already said the moments with rue's family the moments you see rue like really the depths of like all that she's gone through zendaya showed out and it's so like <sighs> one movie you can watch over and over i didn't see this till like recent years but like jennifer's body comes to mind i also used to watch clueless like so much when it was on netflix the lizzie mcguire movie i'm giving Hillary, all her royalties, whenever that's like on, love it. This is what dreams are made of, is like honestly like what a moment. Lizzie has like her pop star moment, she has Gordo like supporting, what's his name? Paolo, he gets exposed, like it's just like perfect, it's perfect. Mamma Mia, I don't know what that says about me. Favorite, or cut creaser, shout out to cut creaser, go follow cut creaser, period. She said, fave Instagram accounts, Quentin, Marcel, always doing something cool, forward thinking, just like so good love him love shablam i really do stand shablam does beautiful work on celebrities on himself like it's just like perfect like if you want a reference for like beauty to be the face the presence and the talent like that's shablam they ask do you wear makeup every day oh no i have to work i have to wear makeup if i don't get to show it i'm really not in the mode to like want to wear makeup otherwise they're gonna see me my hair tied chills with no makeup on you know but anywho that was the video as cool as it can be to like just like show the creative stuff it's also nice to know like creative people are like human you know and just like chatting love that hope you like good see you next time if you want to see how I got my face to stay on this long, link up here. Other videos, I guess, here.